Now, when computing a weight and balance, we can enter each individual occupant's weight. As you see, passenger 1 is 155, passenger 2 is 160, and so on. But let's say we don't know the passenger's weights, and we just want to put in an average weight just to do a quick weight and balance computation. Well, we can do that simply by clicking on the button next to the entry field, like this. Passenger 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now notice they all went to 190 pounds. Well, let's say that's not the weight we want to use. We'd like to use 170 pounds. In fact, when we open the application, the pilot in command and second in command were set to 200 pounds. We would rather that to be 190 pounds. Well, this is easy to change. Simply go to File, Standard Weights, and now for standard crew weight, let's enter 190, and our standard passenger weights, let's enter 170. Select OK. Now, by clicking passenger 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6, you'll notice that the weight now is what we send in our preferences section. We can do the same for the pilot in command and second in command. However, the next time the application opens up, the weight that you saved in the preferences section will be the weight that is set in the pilot in command and second in command. You can see more video tutorials in the support section of our website at www.flyincg.com.